Welcome back sa aking channel, so GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, I will discuss integration of exponential functions. So we have two formulas, i6 and i7. A to the integral of a to the u du, that's, that is equal to a to the u over ln a. ln is natural logarithm plus the constant of integration c, where a is greater than 0 and a is not equal to 1. a is greater than 0 because ln, ln of a uh, negative number is undefined. Okay, so that is why we have condition a should be greater than 0 and a is not equal to 1. Why a is not equal to 1? Because if this constant a is equal to 1, if we raise that to any number, the answer is equal to 1. So that's why a is not equal to 1 and a is greater than 0. So if we have, so a here is any number. So if we have, if the constant is e, so we have e to the u du, that is equal to e to the u plus c. So same lang yan neto, a to the u over ln e dapat ito. But the value of ln, if we replace a by e, the value of ln e is equal to 1. So that's why the formula for e to the u du is only e to the u plus c. There is no denominator because that is 1. Okay, so let's try to solve this. Uh, six examples. Screenshot muna, then try to answer bago panood din ang aking uh, solution. Okay, so let's start. Number... Number 1, so integral of integral of 5 to the 3x dx. So our constant is 5. So therefore, uh, we will use the formula. Uh, integral of a to the u is equal to uh, a to the u du. So that is equal to a to the u over ln a plus c. So just apply this formula. So our u here is the exponent 3x and then the differential du is equal to 3dx so therefore we have neutralizing factor neutralizing factor of uh, reciprocal ng 3 neutralizing factor is 1 third okay so this can be transformed into uh, 1 third integral of 5 to the 3x and then times uh, 3dx okay so para man neutralize magiging Multiply one third and then we have times three dx. So para magin na siyang one third integral of this is our u. So we have five three x is our u and then three dx that is equal to du. So it's now in this form. So therefore the answer will be one third times a to the u over l and a. So our uh, our a here is five. So we have five to the u over ln5 plus c. And then substitute the value of u. The value of u is 3x. So therefore, the final answer will be 5. So 1 times 5 uh, or 1 times 5 to the u is still 5 to the u. The value of u is 3x. So 5 to the 3x over 3 ln5 plus c. Okay? So this is the final answer. Next, number 2. So we have x e to the x squared. So we have we have e, so therefore we, we use the formula integral of e to the u du that is equal to e to the u plus c. So mapapansin nyo dito, our exponent is x squared and then we have x x dito sa ating integrand. So remember the, the, the derivative of x squared is 2x. So this is just a direct formula. So we will let u is equal to the exponent of e. We have x squared. And then we have differential of x squared is equal to 2x dx, which is equal to this x and then dx. So we don't have 2, so therefore we have neutralizing factor of the inverse of 2, that is 1 half. Okay, so this can be now equal to the neutralizing factor 1 half integral of x or let, let's arrange the... The integrand, so this can be written as e to the x squared and then regroup natin x dx, isama natin yung 2. So times 2x, ito yun, x dx, so times 2x dx, okay? So it is now in the form 1 half integral of e to the u, u is x squared, so we have x squared times 2x dx, so that is equal to du. Okay, so 
the x squared is our x squared is our u. So it is now in this form. So therefore, the answer will be 1 half e to the u plus c. But the value of u is x squared. So therefore, the final answer is 1 half e to the x squared plus c. Okay? So this, this is the solution if we use a uh, uh, if we use a uh, neutralizing uh, factor, the inverse of this. Or another is uh, just solve for x dx that is equal to du over 2. Okay? So that's the same. So if we use uh, x dx, so from this, uh, we have integral of x e to the x squared uh, dx. So if we have u is equal to x squared and then du is equal to 2x dx and then solve for x dx. So we have du over 2 is equal to x dx. And then by by substitution, this will become uh, x dx. So x dx that is equal to du over 2. So this will become e to the x squared. So we have e to the u and then du over 2, which is equal to 1 half integral of e to the u du. So this is by simple substitution and this one is by uh, neutralizing factor. Okay. So next number three, integral of three to the x times two to the x dx. So to solve this, uh, we will use the formula for uh, uh, a to the u du. So the formula is a to the u over ln a plus c. But first, uh, gamitin natin ang uh, law of uh, uh, tawag dito. We will use the Okay, so we will use the law of exponent. So we have same same uh same exponent. So therefore this oh this can be written as so we we apply the law law of exponent a to the m times uh b to the m if we have if we have same exponent so this is equal to a b to the m okay so if we have same same exponent so just distribute the exponent or we can multiply this so apply this uh apply this law of exponent so this will become uh 3 times 2 so we have 3 times 2 to the x dx which is equal to 3 times 2, we have 6 to the x dx, and then we can now apply this. So therefore, the answer will be our a here is u, a here is 6, and then we have x, derivative of x is dx. So therefore, just apply this formula. We have 6 to the x over ln 6 plus c. So this is the final answer. So next, number 4, integral of e to the sine theta uh, times cosine theta d theta. So so there, we have e, so therefore we will use the formula e to the u du, which is equal to e to the u plus c. Okay, so as you can see, the derivative of sine is equal to cosine. Okay, so therefore we will let u is equal to sine theta and the derivative of or the differential of u is equal to differential of sine is cosine theta d theta. So this this now equal to integral of e to the sine theta, which is our u, and du is cosine theta d theta. So we have e to the u du. So therefore, it is equal to e to the u plus c. So we have e to the u plus c, and then the value of u is sine theta. So we have e to the sine theta plus c. So this is the final answer. Okay, so next, number four, number five e to the square root of x dx over square root of x. Okay, so we will use the formula again. We have e, so we have e to the u du, so we have the answer is e to the u plus c. So first, uh, let us uh, let the exponent be the value of u. So we have e to the square root of x dx, so we have let u is equal to square root of x. So we have direct uh, formula for the square root of x for to get the differential of this. So we have du is equal to 1 over 2 square root of x times derivative of x, which is our differential, which is dx. So 
times dx or simply dx over 2 square root of x. Okay? So, since we have 2 in the we have 2 in the denominator, in the integrand, we have dx over square root of x. So, therefore, we have neutralizing factor of of 2. Okay? So, multiply both, uh, multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. So, this can be equal to uh, we have 2 integral of e to the square root of x dx over 2 square root of x. So we have 2 in the numerator and then 2 in the denominator. So 2 divided by 2, that is simply equal to 1. So therefore, it is now in the form uh, 2 integral of e square root of x is our u and then dx over 2 square root of x, that is du. So we have e to the u du. So therefore, the final answer is 2. And then we have e to the u plus c times e to the u plus c, but the value of u is square root of x. So therefore, final answer, 2 e to the square root of x plus c. Okay? So last number, number 6. So we have dx over 1 minus e to the negative x. So we have e, so therefore we will use the formula e to the u du is equal to the e to the u plus c. But first, uh, we'll find a way to to use this. So there is no direct formula for this dx over 1 minus e to the negative x. So in order to solve this, kailangan merong e to the x yung numerator and then meron ding e to the x yung denominator. So we can do that by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by e to the x. Multiply natin by e to the x and then e to the x. Okay, so that there is uh, e to the x in numerator and denominator. Okay, so therefore it is now equal to e to the x times dx. So we have e to the x dx in the numerator and then just distribute e to the x times 1. So we have e to the x. e to the x times e to the negative x. So that is equal to minus 1. Okay, so because this will become e to the negative x times e to the e to the x. So apply the same base. So we have e to the negative x plus x. So that is equal to e to the 0. And then e to the 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so now uh, we can use the formula for in this integral, we can use the formula integral of du over over u is equal to ln u plus c. Okay, so we can use this because if we let the denominator as our u, we have u is equal to the denominator ex minus 1. So the differential of that is e to the x, differential of negative 1 is 0. So therefore, the differential of e to the x minus 1 is e to the x dx. So it's now equal to integral of e to the x dx. So that is du over it u is uh, e to the x minus 1 is our u so it's now in the form integral of du over u so therefore it is equal to ln of u plus c but the value of u is e to the x minus 1 so therefore we have ln e to the x minus 1 plus c so this is the final answer okay so thank you for watching and i hope na gusto niyo explanation ko for integration of exponential functions so see you sa mga susunod pa nating video tutorials for integrals so bye bye and god bless